New into stock we have a uh, very, very handy van. It's, uh, we get lots of cargo in this thing. It's a Citroen Relay 2.2 HDI 35 Enterprise L3H2. It's uh, 2016 on a 16 plate. I'll give you some rough fuel economy figures. Urban 30.7, extra urban 44.8, and combined is 38.2. A top speed of 93 miles an hour, a 0 to 62 sundial time of 21.6 seconds, 129 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Now, um, I've, I've worked with John at the garage uh, for 20 years, and uh, John over the years has done lots more vans than I have. I don't really want to get involved in vans, but nothing kind of causes more controversy between us than, than when we value a van or, or when we look at a van. Um, I look at a van, we, we underwrite vans for a, a, a certain company where we buy a lot off them. And whenever the driver rolls up in the van, I look around it and I go, John, there's a dent here, there's a dent there, there's a scuff there, there's a scuff there. And, uh, and John invariably goes, uh, Baz, it's a van. <laughs> which is doubly annoying because I know it's a van and I don't like being called Baz. And I always say back to him, but what if they want to convert it to a camper? Because you've got two types of customer for the, this sort of vehicle. You've got a commercial uh, person who wants to chuck a load of stuff in the back. And then you've got the other people, which we're selling more and more vehicles to, people who want to convert something like this to a, to a camper or a, a mobile home. And of course they expect a different standard. Now I'm going to go around this vehicle and I'm going to point out its imperfections, which if you want it, if you're a builder, you know very well that the, the van's going to get dinged and dented in a couple of weeks. So it's not going to make any difference to you. It's a tidy van. It's a bright looking van, but there's a couple of marks on it, a couple of imperfections, and it, it might just put you off um, buying it to convert to a camper. So as I say, we, we'd rather be honest and upfront here. Um, I would say that these these two kinds of um, two kinds well <laughs> two kinds of vehicles like this. There's commercials which are going to get roughly treated, and there's uh, probably vans which a lot of people will treat as the pride and joy and so on. But it would be very, very hard to keep a vehicle like this um, tidy, the length of it, uh, the width of it, the amount of stuff that you're going to carry. So bear that in mind when I show you around this. I look at things like this and I think uh, they're rough, but if you came to see John, he'd just say to you, it's a van and make you want to hit him with a baseball bat or something. But anyway, let, let me show you. So round the front here, all very, very tidy. Now, if you look right at the top, it's obviously been used to, to load stuff right from the back, right up to the top, to the space above the cabin. And at the top, you can, you can see a couple of dings from the inside out. Again, if you're gonna be using it as a, a builder or, or so on, then it's not gonna bother you. Um, that's probably more branch scuffing than anything from, from lanes like this. You've got a side loading door. I mean, that's what? That's like just short of, I don't know, it'd be about five, five, ten opening, something like that. So it's all ply lined inside here. Bags and bags of room. Got a a metal bulkhead so you can have your cement mixer in the back and pull up quickly and it's, it's not going to bean you in the in the cabin there um let's see i'm not quite sure of the length but uh it's it's a heck of a long thing we've got these plastic protectors on here there's a there's a shallow dent about so big in the sliding door um slight scuff on this panel here nothing really to be too worried about and again slight scuff on the back here 
a, a, nothing to be worried about. Those two panels you could have repaired quite easily and, and very quickly if you wanted to. But, you know, if we sell this to a builder, they're not going to be worried about that. They're, they're just going to be worried what payload they can get in and how many machines they can get in and how much money they can make out of it. They're not worried about the appearance. So the back doors open to 90 degrees. There's a little button here. If you press that, this door will open flat so you can reverse up to a loading bay or so on. I don't think this one's working properly. Um, the button, button presses in, but the, the door won't, uh, won't open any further. So I think perhaps something's caught it inside here and perhaps needs repairing if you need the door to open like that. But as you can see there, it, it is ply lined. It's pretty tidy, although it's probably been used as a builder's uh, wagon, so a, a bit dusty. And this, this is it. So I can stand up in here. Uh, I've got plenty of headroom. That's the bit I was telling you about where you can load right up and uh, you can see a couple of scuffs in there but as I say reasonably tidy and uh... there we go a couple of little dings there there's a ding there, nothing again too serious, slight one there, and then just one there up at the top corner. There's a couple more marks along here, just there. There's a shallow dent, about so big, but it, it, it is only shallow. There's a, a little scratch there, and then there's a little bit more of a gouge, a bit deeper, just there, and that's uh, about so big. Uh, but as I say, it is, it's a nice bright thing, it's nice in the cabin, uh, drives great and can fit a lot of cargo in there which is probably what you'll be buying it for in the first place. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Proper key with a blade. Let's just uh, turn that down. Air conditioning's on. Now what's it got? It's just got reach adjustable steering. So I'll we'll put that back there. And uh oh. the service history. It's uh it only done 35,262 miles, so nice low mileage van. And uh on the 8th of March 2018 at 21,114 miles it was serviced at Robbins and Day. So uh, it's every 20,000 miles not ready for a service yet really but uh, has been looked after. I'll just, oh squirrel hurry up across the road. Right we've got front centre armrest here and, um, and the industrial revolution turn that down a bit handbrakes on the right so it's bluetooth hands free There's some vehicles come in now bluetooth audio streaming we'll get the air con on just turn that to one air con on and cold it's pretty warm and that's telling me I haven't let the handbrake all the way off. It's quite a way down is the handbrake, to be fair. It's uh, pro probably designed for a, a orangutan, I think. Drives nice, as I say, tidy. Very tidy in the cabin. Uh, a bit of wear on the, the rubber here below the driver's feet. But lovely to drive. 
nice spacious cabin, aircon's working really nice, pretty quiet, solid bulkhead so you've got your own environment and uh, no drumming from the from the back there. Here you've got, there we go, seems to work the opposite way around to what I'd expect but I think if you click down there as well yeah even the bottom part of the mirror is electrically adjustable and same over there you can flick over to the top left there you go and then the bottom so you can adjust it so you can see the curb and everything that's behind you won't be going too far today no lunches yet and it's two o'clock It always amazes me how good they handle. And this is a big van. Little caddy TDI in front of us there. And, uh, belies it's 0 to 60 speed, really. 0 to 60 time, not speed. <laughs> the speed's going to be 60, isn't it? That's really nice gear change. Nice and smooth. We've got cruise control down here on the left. I think that is also speed limiter. So. Oh, that's. Yeah. So cruise turn it up. Now how do you that's the cruise turn it up and press up? That must be set. Yeah, you can by clicking down you can reduce your speed, clicking up, you can increase it once you've set it. John tells me we have priced it to allow for the minor imperfections on the outside. As I say, if it's going to be a workhorse, not going to bother you at all. It's low mileage, drives well, and the right price. So not really a lot more you can ask for, I don't think. Just try and see if you can... There you go, there's a, the there's a cruise control switch, your indicators and also your headlamp switch there. That, uh, you've got driving lights already, turn it one, that puts your side lights on, press it away, puts your main beams on, wipers on the right hand side, let's see what we've got here, mode, trip, menu, let's see what menu does, is that... Uh, I thought that was going to let me do something else. It probably was, but I don't know what buttons I'm pressing. There we go, average consumption. Buttons in the end of the wiper stalk. Instantaneous consumption, fuel consumption that is. Average speed travel time, trip distance, and back to average consumption again. Answer the telephone from here, and also dink your caller, mute the radio, increase the volume. If you, uh, I'll show you how to set or pair your mobile and also how to stream audio and delete a mobile if it allows me to but if I click media there that's playing tunes from my phone and it's still on Fleetwood Mac and 
I've just got a text as well. They couldn't have texted me when we were stood still taking photographs there. They've got to text me when I'm on the move and can't look at it. So hopefully it's not urgent. Temperature's normal. These uh, drives, as I've mentioned before in the past, aren't just to uh, video the vehicle, they're also to make sure that they're okay. And we get them up to operating temperature and uh, make sure there's no leaks, everything runs all right, there's no wobbles, or wheel wobbles, or knocks, or anything like that. And uh, the other good thing is, because we video them, we've got a record for the future and uh, whoever's buying it knows that it runs okay at this moment in time. There's no warning lights on the dash. Uh, that's, that's lovely, well, uh, I'll try and get up to 70 because this chap's dawdling so we're at 70 miles an hour in six gear there and we're doing two and a half thousand revs which put the cruise on there just take it up a little bit more to 70 yep that's it two and a half thousand revs fairly quiet it's a big high thing and of course just above here there's not too much sound insulation I'm just going to tuck back in here now so I don't want to go any faster very very pleasant drive nice and comfortable oh dear me I should have known better than to come up here on Friday afternoon. That text is probably saying, Baz, don't go up the motorway, it's jam-packed. So a nice tidy cabin the uh, the bodywork can be put right but you can never kind of bring them back certainly inside if they've been abused ply lining probably a little bit more we usually get we can have them ply line for about 200 quid the size of this I don't know it might be 250 300 pounds but um, if you carry in clean cargo and you want a fresh start then it's easy done would be a very very good sized camper van as well picking up a bit of speed now CD radio I'm showing you the Bluetooth there 
so we'll probably be an auxiliary in or uh, USB in as well which you should be able to change the source of the music or media from driving position and although it is a big van it doesn't feel that big it handles great Bluetooth there radio same trip so it's telling you information phone there and pretty much you can do everything from perhaps not if you're in six unless you've got massive hands but mostly you from the gear stick you're within reach of the uh, phone controls the heater controls that there that's the air con button as you can see it's a bit, a bit like a uh, old telephone dial or I wouldn't say it's close ratio steering heated rear screen there, power socket there, this another drawer to keep your sandwiches in Careful, don't get too close to uh, the left hand side here as you can see up there the, the trees are kind of pruned where the lorries go through sometimes if you're behind one you end up with a branch on your bonnet <laughs> there. all the suspension sounds great because it's not fully loaded at the moment vans tend to drive a little bit better when they have got a little bit of weight in them not quite springy or bouncy but it's a it's a driving position of a there's a cyclist coming there we don't want to collect him it's a driving position of a four-wheel drive like this one coming towards us we're at the same height as he is and uh, we can see all, over all the hedges and, and what's coming towards us and over the cars in front, so. I do, uh, I do like them. I'll finish the test drive there. Uh, please like and subscribe. If the video's been of any benefit to you and just, uh, click on the bell so you get notifications in future I'm going to pull over now and show you how to use the uh, Bluetooth audio system thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time I can also check what my uh, text was <laughs>